Oh my god, it's so cute. So I've been meaning to make another RPG Maker game, and I came across this one called Dreaming Mary. Now before you say, eh, this game looks super cute and girly, and it's probably not for me because I like the horror games, I will read you this sentence that describes uh, the content of this game. It says, this game is not intended for children or those of a nervous disposition and may contain triggering content. So yeah, there is some type of disturbing or strange thing that goes on in this game. So just sit tight and we will see what happens. <sighs> All right. Mary, always remember that you can do anything if your dreams, oh, in your dreams if you try. You can change your life through your dreams. You have that kind of power. Find the key that turns dreams into reality and the entire world will open up for you. But Mary, be careful. If you fall too far into your dreams, you won't ever wake up. Okay. Oh. It's a dream. Like, I'm gonna run into some messed up stuff. Controls, okay. Cancel, perfect. Save, turn to shell screen. Well, let's just save. Oh, that's easy. So I gotta save already? Yay! All right. Oh my god! Oh god! I didn't think it could get any cuter, but it just skyrocketed to, to the level of puppies sleeping with kittens on a cloud. In Atlantis, with unicorns flying overhead. That's how cute it is. <laughs> From one to that, it's that. Oh my god, my walk. My walk is so freaking adorable. I am so freaking adorable. Life is good. Oh well, actually, this is a dream. So, oh, this is a weird painting. I, I can't even really see it. Now that that's over with, oh. let's take a short break. Next up on the music, Nightmarish by Harmonic Blend. Oh god. So cute. There's a vase with a pretty white flower in it. Two of the petals have fallen off. Take the flower? Sure. Got the white lily. Alright. Uh, that was the shortest song ever. Okay, should we leave? The door is locked. Oh, there's a chocolate on the bed. Eat it. Yes. Oh, there's something hard inside. Got the gold leaf key. Okay. Now we can leave. You unlock the door. Hooray! Uh, there's a light, large white door. You can hear some one humming in the room behind it. There's a large blue door. You can hear someone reading aloud. There's a large orange door. You can hear someone giggling behind it. What is this thing? Oh, okay. There's a door. I guess, do I have to choose one? All right, giggling, uh, reading, or humming. Let's do reading. Oh, I guess I can't get in there, okay. Oh! Okay, oh! Bunny, hi! Oh my, hello there, Mary. Hmm, how do I know you? Why, that's silly. Are you saying you don't remember me? No, of course I know you, Bunny! Oh, what a sweet girl. Of course you wouldn't forget me. There's only one Benilda in your dreams after all. 
Since it's been such a long time, why don't you go visit the others? I'm sure Pen Gwindel next door would love to see how much you've grown. Okay, Bonnie. Let's go to this one. Oh my god, is this a penguin? It's a penguin with a friggin' monocle. This is the greatest game ever. Mary, is that you? Why, what a surprise! It's been years, hasn't it? You've certainly grown since we last met. Would you like to read some books? Feel free to look around. This is your dream, after all. You ought to go say hello to Fox A- Oh my god, is it a fox? Oh, this game is officially my- the best- the best game ever. When you're done, she'll be ecstatic to know that you're here again. Go toddle along now. <laughs> Go toddle along. That perfectly describes my walking type. This is toddling, everybody. It's gonna be a new trend. Bigger than twerking. Oh. Sleeping Beauty, page three. Oh. Finally, she came to an old tower. A narrow stairway led up to it. Being curious, she climbed up until she came to a door. There was a small yellow key in the door. She turned it, and the door swung open. She found herself in a small room where an old woman sat spinning flax. Okay. Alright, now we continue. There's a blue book with a girl and a pig on the cover. Charlotte's Web. Oh, I love Charlotte's Web. What else is in here? There's a white book with talking animals on the cover. Aesop's Fables. Oh! <laughs> okay, let's go see the fox! Yay! Chicken? Chicken. Fox. Chicken? No, I can't have it. Mary? Mary, is that you? She has a classy voice. She's got a martini in her hand. Well, look at you, growing up on me, huh, kid? Can't believe you hadn't even stopped to visit these past years. Oh, oh, oh. You're, you're not leaving again anytime soon, kiddo. Not if I can help it. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> you should go talk to Boris first. Then we can play some games together, like in the old days. Let's go down the stairs at the end of the hall. You can't miss that door. It's the only one after mine. All right. Give me your chicken. I want the chicken. Just give me the chicken. Ugh. All right, let's go to the door. There is a door. Open the door. Yes. Go. Ooh. Boris is a boar. <laughs> hey, Boris. Oh, Mayor, sweetheart, you're back. I missed you, darling. Isn't this place beautiful? And it's all for you, dear. For tonight, why don't you go play with the others? We can have our own special time later. All right, sweetie. That sounded weird. There's a door with four holes in it. Okay. I thought they told me to come see you. Mary, sweetheart, you're back. Oh. Oh, keep doing it. Stop talking to me. All right, we're gonna leave then. Mary, welcome back. Are you having fun in your dream, teehee? Say, if you're not busy, could you help me? I just can't figure out how to arrange these statues. Sure. Yay, thanks so much. You see, there's actually a story behind these statues. Two goddesses fell in love with the same man, and they spent years fighting for him. One of the goddess goddesses was the queen of the underworld. The other was the goddess of love. Please help me show this story with the statues. What? How am I supposed to do that? Wow, this looks really good. There was no rhyme or reason to where I, why I put them in that order, but we're going to go with it. Wow, this looks really good. You did a great job, Mary. Thank you. You really have an eye for these things. I'll be sure to ask you if I need some more help. Oh, now what? What do I do now? Oh, my God. So you managed to help Benilda? That's very nice of you. Since you're here, would you mind lending me a hand, too? Oh, sure. Excellent. Thank you for your assistance. I, I read a book by an author named Williams a while ago. It was under a stuffed rabbit. Unfortunately, I can't remember what it looked like. Could you find it and tell me what color it is? What? Is it in here? Oh, I found it. It's yellow. It's yellow, penguin. <laughs> Did you need something? I, I found the book. Oh, so what color was the book? What color is the book? Use all capital letters. Oh my god. Yellow. Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. No, wait. Yes. Yellow. Oh, 
Oh, you're right. Excellent work, Mary. That's it? That's all you need? There's so many books. Ugh. What a time to be alive! Okay. What do you need now? Because I'm sure you need something. You mean eat this chicken? <laughs> that I've been wanting to eat? Wait, fuck. Oh. Hey there, kiddo. What's up? You been hanging out with Belinda and Gwyn Gwyndell? Hey, what about me, huh? Alright, let's play a game. You up for it? Yes. Great. We'll just play a game of hide and seek. I'll hide somewhere in this room and you'll have to find me. For this round, you'll get 45 seconds. Just talk to me again when you're ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. Try to find me before the 45 seconds is up. Are you in the chicken? Oh my god! I knew it! <laughs> chicken. You were hiding in the chicken. Good job, kid. Let's play another round some other time. All right, now do I visit Boris? <laughs> Let's visit Boris. Is it our time? Is it our special time now, Boris? Hello, Mary, my special girl. Are you having fun in your dreams? Yes. That's great, sweetheart. I'm glad you like it so far. This world was made especially for you, after all. It wouldn't be right if you didn't like it. It's still early, so why don't you go play some more with your friend? Boris! Are you having fun in your dreams? No! You won't tell me what to do! Oh, that's a shame, Mary. Did you want to do something more fun? I'm afraid you'll just have to wait just a little longer, Mary, and we can do some more pleasurable things together. Be a good girl and play with your friends. It'll only be a little longer. I don't like the way that this is going. Oh, Mary, you're back. I've been looking for you. Teehee, do you think you can help me with the statues again? Sure. See, the statues are each supposed to be holding something. One has a flower, one has a red fruit, and one has a gold fruit. The thing is, I don't know what statue... Oh, so that's... That's what it is. So this one is the red fruit. And the confident one... Which one's the confident one? This one? Yeah. This one has the gold fruit. And this one has the flower, right? Flower. Good. Crap. I guess that's not right, huh? Yay! Once again, no rhyme or reason. Just got lucky. I'm really glad I asked you for help. Tee hee. There are so many books to enjoy. What a time to be alive. Say, Mary, would you mind looking up some more books for me? Just two. They've been bothering me for quite a while, but I haven't found the time to look for them myself. <laughs> You're so busy just reading. Wonderful. Then the first book I'd like for you to find is a white book with story and morals. Oh, we saw that earlier. This one, the white one. There's a white book to Aesop's Fables. Okay. Uh, described a book. Oh my god! Isn't it Aesop? Aesop. Ah oh, yes, that's correct. The other book is a green book by the author whose name began with an S. Okay. Green book. Oh, I love the giving tree too! Shiel. Shiel. Oh, the book's title! Oh my god! I'm an idiot. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Thank you, Mary. You can do it if you try, you see? I suppose that's it. I'll return to reading now. You're free to look around as much as you want, however. Alright. Are we gonna eat the chicken, finally? Foxanne? Hey, kid. You ready for another round? Yes. Great. This time, you'll have 25 seconds. Are you in the chicken? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm gonna lose. Are really counting? Because... I feel like you're not... Oh! No! No! You really got to step up your game. That's all for now. Oh, no! Oh, no! Does that mean I just did something? Let's save in a different spot. Well, she just tricked me and there was no way to find her. I don't like you. Boorish. Welcome back, deal. You're done playing with your friends. Oh, but it's not time to start yet. We're still missing something. 
if you can get three seeds from your friends, we can go deeper into the dream together, Barry, all right? Be patient for just a little longer. You're such a good girl, Mary. I'll be waiting. <sighs> All right. Give me the seed, bunny. Hi, Mary. Huh? You want a seed? But but that means you'll be leaving this dream. Aren't you happy here, Mary? Aw. Oh, it'll all be over. We'll all be over. Aw, oh, but if you're sure. Okay, how about this? I'll give you the seed if you can answer a question about the story I told you. Sure. Okay. I'll give you the seed if you can get the question right. But if you don't, you need to give me one of the flower petals. Uh-oh. It's like Eve. The question is, who did Andonis love? I don't know. Who's Andonis? His mother? I don't know. What? You don't have an answer? Well, that's right. I never said who I... Oh! What a tricky, tricky bunny. I'm sorry for tricking you, Mary, but I just don't want you to leave. Here's your seed. Got a red seed. Bye-bye, Mary. Don't forget about me. Oh. What was that? <gasps> what was that? Uh-oh. Well, that's creepy. Okay, we're gonna leave. <laughs> Penguin! Give me the seed. Hello again, Mary. What? The seed? Are you sure you want it, Mary? Couldn't you just stay here? If you truly want it, then I suppose I can't stop you. But I will present a challenge. There is a book that I've lost. It was a brown journal written by someone named Anna. Who was it dedicated to? If you can find this book, or at least guess the correct answer, I will give you the seed. If not, I must take one of your flower petals. All right, we're just gonna guess. We're just gonna guess. <laughs> Cause I can't find it. No, that is incorrect. I'm sorry, Barry. That was worth a shot. I must take one of your petals in exchange. Then this is the end of my roll. Mary, if you haven't found her, the next time you enter this stream, find the angel. Got a red seed, lost a flower petal. Oh no. Oh no, I only got three left. Where was the brown journal? Whoa. Wait a minute. What was that? <gasps> what was that? What is it? Is it a dead person? Is it a... I don't know. Let's just go. All right, Foxanne, I'm not even gonna ask about the chicken. Hey there, kid. Wait, what, the seed? No way, you're kidding, right? Come on, don't do that. Do you really want that old seed? Yes. Oh, are you serious? Fine. We'll play around of hide and seek. Ah. Oh. I have 10 seconds this time. Now let's start. Wait, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Ah! Oh, you really found me? Yes, thank God. Thank God. Give me the seed. You won, that's all. That's the end. Here, take your prize. Got a red seed. That's time for my final disappearance. See you around, kid. Yay. Alright. We'll save in this slot still. I only lost one. I only lost one petal. Well, let's go. Let's go see what happens over here. I don't have a good feeling about it. Mary, sweetheart, are all those the three seeds you have? You've got them already, good girl. This is creepy. But you need one more. Just give me a petal from your lily, Mary. You don't need to do anything else. I know that you deserve my seed. No. No, what do you mean, no? It's just a flower petal. You can give it to me, right? Come on. No. Don't be stubborn, Mary. I won't give you my seed if you're not a good girl. You want it, don't you? No. Uh-oh. Fine. Do what you want. Not that there's anything left to do. You've already played all the games. If you want to go deeper in your dreams, you'll give your petal to me. Otherwise, you'll just have to wake up and lose everything. Talk to me again when you've come to your senses. What do I do, what do, I do guys? 
This is creepy. All right, I'll give it. Sure. Good girl. Got a red seed. Lots of flower petal. You have all the seeds now, Mary. You can open the door to your dreams. I'll go first, and you can meet me there when you're ready. Just open the door, Mary, and everything will be fine. All right. There's a door with four holes in it. Good girl. Sweet girl. You're mine. What is that? Oh! Oh, I can move! Oh! I'm... Hey, bunny! Okay, I'm falling. Oh, this is so cool! So wait, is this... I'm so confused. Is this the end? What just happened? Okay... Foxen! You owe me chicken! The end of a dream. The beginning of a nightmare! I knew you were no good, Boris. Good night, Mary. Mary? This fate, are you happy with it? No. I see. Then, Mary, I'll give you another chance. Okay. Welcome to the dreams. My name is Atta, and I'm your host on Radio Night Night. Okay, so we heard that already. So then it starts over. So then I gotta listen to what the guy said and that I need to find the angel this time. So there's four different endings apparently. I don't know if that was just one of them or if that was just part of the game. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this so far. It's very interesting. It gets me sucked in and I, I'm really excited to see what's going on. Like there's a lot of really weird and creepy things happening and I wanna know why. So yeah, if you like Dreaming Mary so far, make sure to leave a like on this video. And as always, I will see you guys soon.